my god. Inoo. <sighs> so, good morning once again. Or again. <laughs> good afternoon. Kay afternoon, day ko nag-video. So, our next lesson for FSM 111 is entitled The Use of Heat in Cooking. So, ang gamit sa heat when cooking. So, as you can see in the picture, ang titawag aning nikalit o fire. Okay, naigi ah, or naigi buo nga liquid ang chef. So, what do you think is this reaction code? So, it is called as Flambe. So, Flambe, F-L-A-M-B-E. Flambe. Ang, ang, ang E is something na apostrophe sa taas mo. Flambe. It's a French term. Okay, so... Heat is the used in is used in preparing food by cooking and toasting. So cooking is the term when heat heating affects the entire mass of food. So while toasting, primarily the effect of heat on the surface. So ang heat is very essential in preparing food no? by cooking and as well as toasting. Ang kalahian aning cooking and uh, toasting is ang cooking. Ang entire mass niya, or ang effects sa food niya is, ang apektuhan is ang entire mass niya. So, kung magluto ka, di ba, like meat, hindi mo siyang lutoon thoroughly, ang entire mass niya, ma maapektuhan yun from raw to cook meat. Sinana siya. So, from gahi, puhumok. While ang toasting, ang iya is, kana lang, Uh, muhit lang ang iyang surface. So, sometimes, kanang imo siyang something brown nun lang ang surface. So, without heat, can you imagine yourself eating food na wala giluto? So, it's very unsanitary and very unpalatable. And dili good siya acceptable sa atong diet. It is very hazardous sa atong health. Diba? Okay, we Filipinos, we like to eat Meat which is thoroughly cooked or well done. So the changes produced in foods by heat, heat depend upon the methods of heat transfer. At the time of heating, the temperature reach in the surface and within the mass of food and the nature of food it itself. So ang changes those of food nagdepende lang sa mga method na gamit using the heat transfer. And of course. Kung unsa siya ka, kung unsa sa pila siya ka oras ni Mogiloto, at the same time ang iyang temperature sa sa imong giloto. Nagdepende ra. Then methods of heat transfer. So there are three methods of heat transfer. So, it is convection, conduction, and radiation. So, when we say heat transfer, it is from the sources of heat to the food. With the sources of heat to the food. Para maluto ang food. So, it's by conduction, convection, radiation. And the other one, aside from this three, is the microwave emission. So, with the use of microwave oven. So, these factors affect the intensity of the rate of cooking. First is, let us know about convection. So, the transfer of thermal energy from electricity, gas, or solid fuel to the uh, vapor molecule of the air. And then, the conduction is the direct transfer of heat via metals or any con conducing materials containing the And the last one is the radiation, the transfer of heat from a red hot coil to the food. It immediately hits the food, it chokes on. So, para ato siyang dali masabtan, I have an illustration here showing how these three works together. 
So first, it's from the radiation. So dritta maguna sa radiation. Kay mo mo lang source of heat. Mo ni ang plane kung baga. So ang tawag na is the radiation. And this conduction is mo ni siya ang metal. Ang metal which is para ng mga pot or pan na atong gigamit. So di ba dali ra na sila mo. Uh, dali ra na sila mo init sa itawagan na nila ka ng um, daliras ang sa itawagan na itawagan na sa electricity na term um, conductor of heat ang metal di ba a good conductor of heat okay and then ang convection is mo ni siya ang <laughs> mo ni ang water uh, vapor vapor, uh, vapor molecule So, say for example, na ng radiation. So, di ba, of course, layman na siya, init. So, nareact sa ang, ang, ang metal, which is, nag-conduct na dahil yung siya git. Kaya since siya man ang direct contact sa material, a direct material na contact ang the radiation. So, once mo init na siya, say for example, nag-boil ka water, So, di ba mo react man jud ayon ang water. So, ni mga B a uh, water molecule nga mo show it's through bubbling, through rapid boiling, rapid rapid boiling or boiling. So, ang tawag na na reaction is convection. Okay. So, man the transfer of transfer of thermal energy. So, na na vapor molecule of the air. Okay, sabtan ba? So next is the measurement of heat or temperature. So are you familiar with this danger danger zone? So danger zone is from 100 Uh, one, uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So, between them is the danger zone. And above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, mauna is safe zone pa. And below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, safe zone pa na sila. So, important temperatures in preparing food. So, these are the important temperature when preparing different kinds of food. So, from poultry, stuffing, casseroles, yung muna, 165. <clears throat> Egg dishes and ground meat, 160 degree Fahrenheit. Then, beef, pork, lamb, veal, roast steaks, and shops, 145 degree Fahrenheit. While in the Freezing point or the freezer temperature mo na no, zero degree Fahrenheit. So, any question regarding this lesson, you can ask me, you can message me through my email and messenger. So, that's all for this afternoon, for this lesson only. And God bless everyone. Stay safe.